Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. Sorry the last one was a bit lackluster. I was feeling very tired, feeling pretty tired after streaming all day. I'm still pretty tired but I've eaten some sour skittles and I don't have any caffeine left but I'm gonna drink this water, dang it. Delicious. Wait, what did I just discover? I just... Abandoned? Okay, a bandit camp. I'm not gonna do much with bandit camps. I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with you. Like, unless there's a reason for me to see that hot guy again. Like if he shows up if he if he shows up at all of them, I'm trying to work on my enunciation a bit. Because I get really lazy. And I slur. I'm good, thanks. It's right above my head, I think. Yeah. If I can avoid it, I shall. Campfire? Excellent. Snowfall. Getting colder. Ooh, it is! Oh my gosh, look at us. Look at it, like, it's actually, like, really sticking up here. And it's blowing hard enough that she's, like, having an issue. A little bit, you know? Not like, I don't think it's actually really, a, I don't think it's affecting anything much gameplay-wise. But visually, she's having to... Wow! We really do have it easy. I thought it was, like... Look at all, it's giving me a bunch of arrow making things and a bunch of medicine stuff. This is gonna be a fun trip. <laughs> oh my god. Fighting. Yep. Has something attacked the Karja foot? Figured. Oh, big, big things. Kill them. How am I supposed to do that? base damage than I was earlier before. Did the card you build this? Four? And I leveled up. Excellent! Okay, those were super hard to kill before, but this... Kind of gave me a few more options. Hi. Ah. With food? When you're ready. Okay, thank you. No, no, thank you. My friend is Already. very nice to me. Medicine. That wasn't nearly as difficult as I thought it was going to be. There's my dog, son. Okay, I don't have any room for that. Room for that. Oh. Never know when I might need these. Oh man, I can go fill up even more. Yes. All the medicinal sagebrush. Give it all to me. And the ochre bloom blossom. 
Oh yeah, let's look at this thing. Truly, the sun shines upon us this day. Oh man, it wasn't the sun risking its ass down here. <laughs> she is so atheist. Nope, can't get that. Let's see if we can modify. Oh, um, well, let's. care about heavy weapons, but I do care about double shot and triple shot. That'll be cool. Oh, I'm gonna try to craft uh, carry capacity, weapons, resource, modification, satchel. Okay. Still don't have a raccoon bow. 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 Raccoon bow. Girl! Approach! No! I'm, I'm busy looting. You guys can just walk into the wall all day long. Ooh, unfortunate. So, will you open the gate for me now? <laughs> you heard her. Open the gates and send word to Captain Balan. Where are you headed, girl? West to Meridian. Thank you for the way opening the gates. Stones is a hard run, even in the best of times. You might want to have a word with Captain Balan. He came from Meridian not long ago. You find him in the fort, on a balcony to the left, overlooking the valley. Okay. Well, that's very specific. Thanks. We're the ones who should be thanking you for taking down those machines. Walk in light, Nora. I don't trust you guys. You have way too much armor. We're in a new area. Hi -ya! Fuck that corruption. I should look at the achievements and see if there's actually any that aren't just quest related. Whoever's in charge here might know if Nakoa came through. That's true. So we're gonna test out or oh, down there. It's up there. Oh. Is a daughter's vengeance over here? There's a merchant somewhere. Buy your treasure box. I have a lot of those. I should probably open. Metal flowers. Unup figure, ancient vessels. Why would I want those? Thanks for letting me steal from you. Who are you and what do you- Oh! Oh, so the daughter one is elsewhere. Hiya, you're the quest guy. Captain Blonde? Okay, you're a little cute. You. You're a little- a little. First, about another Nora woman who might have come through here. And second, about the trail to Meridian. What can I expect on the way? Well, it was definitely another Nora. No way I'd forget that. She caused... an incident. Did she slap you? As for what to expect on the trail, nothing good. More machines all the time, and our scouts report corruption that way as well. So much for sealing things off. Keep to the roads. They're safe enough. No, after what you did at the gate, I'll wager you don't scare easy. It's a good quality. Thank you. I can put it to use, if you don't mind a quick jaunt back east. I know it's bold of me to ask a favor after you just did one. It certainly is. I can offer you answers in return. If there's anything you need to know about the Sundom. I like that name. Sundom. It's a good name. What do you need, Captain? I sent several patrols east when we got word of corrupted machines there. I'll let them confirm my fears. So I sealed the gates. But it looks like we left some men behind when they were closed. Wally, tell what happened. Machines attacked us near an abandoned Nora village, sir. Lakir told us to pull back. Then I lost sight of the others. Never seen a Nora woman before, soldier? Have some respect. Report to her, not to me. Oh! Lakir always stresses reporting back, so that's what I did. I felt terrible about leaving them behind. 
Now that the gates are open again, I can send someone after them. Can't you send more soldiers to find the missing men? What about Walid here? Most Nora still don't take well to the side of Karja armor. Officially, it's a risk to send patrols so close to your sacred land. I'd prefer not to do that again. But heading that way won't be a problem for you. Please say yes. What was that, soldier? Nothing, sir. Oh, wow. Ooh. Did an Osram named Olin come through here? Twice. He was part of the royal delegation to the Nora. When they passed through on the way, then back. And they brought back stories of a vicious attack on your people. My condolences, of course. Do you know where Olin is now? Not exactly. But he was on his way to Meridian, I'm certain of that. Everyone goes to Meridian. Yeah, okay. Oh, hold on. Is there anything more you can tell me about the road to Meridian? Sun King of Vaad has devoted considerable resources to making it safe. But by the sun's witness, it's been harder to control in peace than it was during the war. The machines grow more dangerous all the time. Add to that bandits and new reports of this corruption. We're stretched thin to protect a few outposts like this one. As for everywhere else, well, travel at your own risk. He's perpetually talking to me with his head at a tilt. Oh, my door keeps being open. My door doesn't latch. So the dogs can just push it open and then everybody's all talking out there and it's like there's no soundproofing anywhere. Uh what is this place exactly? Day Tower marks the eastern edge of Carter. The Carter's eyes territory. are beautiful in this game. Trading post, a way station. One with an ugly reputation among your people. Uh-huh. During the reign of the last Sun King, many Nora were taken captive, then gathered here for transport to Meridian and sacrifice. But the sun set on that. I was appointed by the Sun King of Vaad to make sure old Karja at this outpost show respect to the Nora. Where do things stand between your tribe and the Nora now? Sun King of Vaad wants peace. So do the matriarchs, I'm told. But old wounds are slow to mend, and both tribes are proud. You have nothing to be proud about! My task is to make sure there are no further provocations from the Sundom. Especially now, after... Well... While your people recover from this terrible attack, I mean... So you guys didn't do it. Uh, that's what the impression I was given anyway. I said this is an extremist group, but yeah, you you guys have. This could actually mean like if the Nora had any more political influence than because they don't have a lot. They're just simple, quiet people, very ritualistic, off in their own valley. If they had more political clout. This would be cause for war. Even having the offshoot of one group, the the group that the offshoot comes from would still be held responsible in a lot of cases. What's Meridian like? Well, it's a changed place. A living city. Nothing like it was during the rule of Sun King Juran. Avad, our new king, has done all he can to make sure of that. Slavery has been abolished. There's a new alliance with the Azuram. And the Sunring, where so many outlanders were killed, is now a memorial to the fallen. Hmm. So the Karja are allied with the Azuram? Hard to believe, but it's true. Mad Sun King Juran raided the Azaram for years. Avad managed to get them on his side. He had help, of course. Ursa and Eren played a part. Azaram siblings, bigger than life. They gathered an army to free Meridian. I marched with them. Scaled the North Cliff with my men and secured the Temple of the Sun. Sent Juran's kestrels and priests packing. Now Azaram are a common sight in the city. And a common sound, too. They sure bicker a lot. <laughs> It sounds as though you approve of the new Sun King. He is the Chosen of the Sun. And what the Sundom needs after ten years of war. A calming light, not a scouring one. Sun King Juran would shed blood at any slight. For Sun King Avad, that's a last resort. Lucky for those who slight him. Some whisper in the shadows that he's weak. No. Peace is strength, as the sun shall show. Yeah, but the sun apparently chose your other guy too, you know? You said something happened with Nakoa. The Nora girl? Yes, yeah, something happened. Attempted murder. Oh, yeah. Prefect Zayi can tell you more about it. You can Prefect. find him near the main tower, up the steps. So what if I murder what? him? Zayid is here. He is. Look, I've heard what your people say about him, but he swears it's a case of mistaken identity. 
Now, there's a shadow to him, I've never been able to prove it. And the forbearance he showed towards this Nicole woman was impressive. Oh, speak to him. Maybe he knows where she went. And try not to assault him, please. I can't promise. I'll see what I can do about your missing men. I would be grateful. But not as grateful as Walid. You hear that, Lunkhead? You might be off the hook. <laughs> you hear that, Lunkhead? Okay. Talk to Zaid. I am interested how that one's gonna go. Where is he? Um. Black. Black. Only if that's like act. No, I don't want to go backwards. No. Bandit. A daughter's vengeance. Ah, okay. Time to go murder him. Apparently the Nora are very brash. We shed blood at the slightest provocation. Also, with all the vengeance that we took for, you know, I mean, it made don't sense in the last one, but it did seem a bit... To guard. I don't get involved in politics. Okay. What is this? Nope. The derangement. The Ranger and the Machines, esteemed lords and ladies of the Sun Corps, honored canes and patrons, your concerns regarding the continuing derangement of the machines are noted. Though many seasons have passed since the first sightings of this frightful change, the Sun King is well aware that this is no longer a matter of reports from border patrols and hunters lodge expeditions. One needs only look to the abandoned estate lands, indeed, the estates you owned, left for the jewel to reclaim, or to empty freeholds of the common cars folk. Now that, know that the Sun King has taken every measure to protect Holy Meridian and the Maze Lands with renewed patrols. As for entreating the Sun, we believe the cause of the derangement cannot be the Sun's displeasure alone. For the years of sacrifice under Sun King Jiran produced no noticeable effect on the machines. His luminance and the Sun Priests are Sun Priests are in agreement that even if this is an ordeal set for us by the Sun, our suffering will not be reduced with blood. For your edification, I will recount what we have observed of the derangement of the simpler machines. The herd creatures, the calipers, the scuttlers, were once they fled at the sight of men, now they are more likely to charge. The larger creatures, now once only a menace to the inebriated and foolhardy, can be seen to lunge at the unwary with murderous intent. This is to say nothing of the coming of the Sawtooth, with its metal brethren, the Ravager, the Stalker, or that terrible giant, the Thunderjaw. Each one has proved a more capable killer of men than the last, each wielding a wider array of strange weapons. The wild are no longer safe due to the hostility of these new machines, though to date they, they they have not attacked a settlement within the Sundom. Outlanders have brought no shortage of fanciful explanations for this behavior. Some suggest the machines have come to resent men for hunting them, yet such a thing has never been witnessed among beasts of flesh and blood, and they have proven to be more capable of thinking and memory. Kaja hunters and awesome tinkers alike have attempted to understand the phenomenon by inspecting, inspecting felled machines, but these appear no different from the, to those harvested many, many years before derangement began, with the same assortments of wires, braiding, lenses, hearts, and so on. When these parts are subjected to the light of the sun, or to awesome experiments with fire and spark, they react as they always have. The Banuk, however, claim to have recorded a change in the machine song of the machine spirits, suggesting that these have become increasingly discordant. The Sun King has sent envoys to Ban Ur to learn more, in the hopes that their mysticism might contain a truth when the rational light of the sun is brought to bear upon it. Of course, the Sun King graciously welcomes your own contributions to the study of derangement, asking only that they are delivered in written form and not during royal audience. His Luminous also hopes to dissuade you from participating in machine hunts during these uncertain times. The strength of the United Sun Corps is the strength of all Karja. Interesting. So the, ba the Banuk might have something more. Hello, I am your death. You're Zaid. And you're Anora. I can tell from your tone you've heard of me. Let me ease your mind. There seem to be wild stories about me among your tribe. But the Nora have me mistaken for someone else. I'm not sure where the fault lies, but the fog of war often breeds confusion. Unfortunately, some refuse to acknowledge the error. So it was with the last Nora who came through here. Uh, what's interesting is that Bahawan or whoever he is, Balao, Balloon, whatever, um, has actually had him, had, had Zaid investigated. He mentioned, he's like, I haven't been able to find anything, a shred of a shadow on him or something. 
like that. So he has been investigated by the Karja, which is smart of a man who's trying to watch the Karja Nora border and keep up good relations with the Nora. Because having, even having Zaid, he should actually, if he thinks Zaid's just being mis, uh, mislabeled, he should send him away. He shouldn't be here. That name, that name carries enough hatred to start a war. Of course, it's not a war, really, because he's like, he's like ten years of war. It's like, no, those are ten years of raids. Like, nobody went to war with the Kaja. They were too big. The Nora didn't go to war with the Kaja. The Nora were raided and fought back. Like, I don't know why the Kaja would be like, oh, man, you guys hurt us. It's like, because you were literally blood sacrificing entire villages. So you deny participating in the Red Raids? No, I didn't say that. I did have a role in those operations, albeit a very limited one. But all this nonsense about torture and murder, that wasn't me. Then who is it? I'm confused with some other commander. I don't doubt some of my comrades did bad things, but Sun King of Odd has worked hard to eliminate such brutality. So everybody was cool with it? Like, all the cars were like, oh yeah, blood sacrifice. Cool beans. Because if that's the case, I don't know why we've reopened, like, any sort of peace with them. Like, if blood sacrifice is an acceptable part of their culture, then you need to just peace out and, like, not acknowledge them. <laughs> like, go bye-bye. The last Nora who came through here. You mean Nakoa? Is that her name? Oh, well. It was a very unfortunate situation. She attacked me in broad daylight. If one of my men hadn't spotted her, I might well have been injured. But we were able to subdue her without harm. What did you do with her? I let her go, of course. It was clear she thought I was responsible for unspeakable things. So, in a sense, her actions were justifiable. I explained that she was wrong, then sent her on her way. Sadly, I don't think she believed me. Yeah, she attacked you in broad daylight so you couldn't kill her back. You know what I mean? Like, he had to be like... Oh, no, sadly, one of my men spotted her or something, you know, it's like... So he wasn't able to kill her, he had to pretend to be all magnanimous or whatever. Where is Nikola now? I don't know exactly. She left raving that she would find a way to bring me down. But I did hear a report from the garrison at Lonesome Rock that a young woman had been abducted by bandits. Might have been her. You've really gone out of your way to help, Prefect Said. Yeah. It's no trouble. The Sun King wishes to make amends with your people, and I am his humble servant. I'll go to Lonesome Rock and get to the bottom of this. I promise you that. You do that. And if our men are anything less than helpful, please let me know. I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Is that, is Lonesome Rock? Can't trust him, not after what Yon told me. That garrison is my only lead. So if I wanted to find... Oh! She went into Karja land? Oh my gosh, she went into Karja land. Level 20 corrupted zone. Um, what else was he want me to do? Oh man, I did kind of want to go... To that. Can I fast travel here? No. I cannot. I could fast travel here. What else? What's my main quest? Go to the capital of the Karja Sundom. Might be a bit soon. I mean, it's only level 12. Um, level 14. Um, let me actually. I kind of want to go to this cauldron. It'll be interesting. I think, I hope, I hope there'll be interesting things there. I kind of, like, I really want to see what the main story is, right? Like, I want to, to keep it going, but I always try to restrain myself to do, like, two side missions, and then I do a main mission in most games I play. So that way it's paced, and I'm not just, but I guess, I don't know. I don't know if there's a, if there's a, you complete the main mission, and then you can go around, wander around, and do whatever you want type thing. Or if you have to do everything before the game, like the game just ends. And of course, there's a DLC, which I will be buying. I should check and see, actually, if it's on sale right now. During the Steam sales. 
Oh, we need to change the quest. Nope. I want to go to the cauldron. How's that wrestling army ours? How's that wrestling? Man, those sour skittles. If you've never had sour skittles, I highly recommend them. I stole them. From my friend. No, I'm not gonna find the groundskeeper. I don't care. Is this the bandit camp? No? Okay, good. Are you the groundskeeper? Yeah, I don't care. Wait, is there a... Oh, hello. I care about you. Did you give me free treasure boxes? That I haven't opened yet. Ha ha. <laughs> but I somehow, on this person, am carrying around. A ton of treasure boxes. I was just thinking about, like, how, when I think of upgrades, I think of Black Flag. Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Because that was the game where I think I've actually done... 100% upgrade completion. Oh, I can't take any more health. I guess that's good. Um, and that's, so then I was thinking about, um... The new pirate game that they've got going that's gonna be really interesting. Ubisoft finally is capitalizing on the fact that... Pirate, that, that Black Flag was their most popular game. It's just sans, uh... Assassins. Man. This is... Wait, what? Oh, okay. I was like, what? Okay, I see. Uh-oh. I love how the fireflies are just sticking onto like a plant. Oh my gosh, not a, is that a scrapper or a cat? Uh oh, is it searching? many metal shards. I'm rich. I don't really know what to buy, like, for upgrades and stuff. Oh. Now's my chance. That was easy. Nice! This is totally looks like Mass Effect. I think I like pinned him to the wall. Legit. Come on. Quite a door. But how to open it? 
with my magic power stick. This is so cool! This looks like the heart of the mountain when they took me when I was uh, dying. All right, and with that, I think I'm gonna have to leave it here. <laughs> um, but thank you guys very much. Ooh, okay, so there's an oh, there's a recharge time for the oh, for the recharge tool. Okay, good to know. Um, for my spear. But yes, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, we're progressing main mission along quite nicely, and now we're about to explore like a deep dark dungeon full of like mechanical wonders, and I'm really excited. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one.